so somehow I'm even sicker than I was yesterday. Um, I still have, I have conjunctivitis in both eyes now, and I feel like I'm coming out with the flu, so that's why I look so pale. Um, but I've not made a video. I, I make videos responding to, you know, a request responding to people saying, hey, respond to this atheist video, five reasons why Christianity is stupid, or 10 reasons why Judaism um, disproves Christianity, or 20 reasons, uh, 20 questions for Christians, which even in the comment section, atheists, people were saying, I'm an atheist, but these can... I, I can pretend to be a Christian and easily answer most of these. And the 20 questions were super ludicrous. Um, I always said I would never monetize my accounts, and I've never done that. But people have been suggesting me setting up a Patreon, and I think I will do that, because it will still let anybody watch these for free. Um... And it'll allow you, it doesn't force you to give anything. And I'll be able to put out more videos, better quality, and go in more depth when responding to people one on, uh, when you have uh, questions. But if you want to get the Patreon set up, if, if you can't, if you have a question, but you know you're, you don't have the means to donate, I will still answer the question in a video if you'd like. But... Why, why did Christianity grow so fast? Why did it... I mean... Why, why did a religion that was being actively persecuted for three centuries grow so fast and become the dominant religion in the world um, and sweep through lands without the use of the sword. <clears throat> um, because if you know anything about history, usually the kings were the last people to become Christians. Um, usually their wives were Christians before them. Um, and in a place like Ireland, 95% um, of the island converted to Christianity within 20 years. And there wasn't a single sword raised. Complete opposite of Islam. And here's some reasons. All right. And this is, I should have addressed this, you know, first. Um, Isiaxi, Jesus Christ, um, proclaimed his message, it proclaimed him, uh, his message of divine reconciliation and universal peace in a time of fierce violence and red hot religious hatred occupied Palestine underneath the Romans. You had zealots and Sicarii running around, and you had all these different religious cl classes amongst the Jews that hated each other, and all of them hated the Samaritans. Um, and uh, all of them despised the, um, the Greco-Roman polytheism, and all of them weren't so fond of Zoroastrianism or Mazdianism in of the Persians. Um, the Christ had the option had the option to escape multiple times, slip away, um, or recant. Yet he willingly went to a brutal death, painful, brutal torture and death, um, even forgiving his executioners, never never once, you know, saying, you know, uh, hey, take me down, stop, I'm not, you know. Um, but uh, people like Freud and Nietzsche and um, Gibbon and, and, and the jackasses of the world. Although, um, I respect Nietzsche a lot more, and even Freud a lot more than I respect Edward frickin' Gibbon. 
you know, and you still hear this. Oh, Christianity was just for the. It was it was a religion for the slaves and the, um, and the women and the poor. These people have never read the Church Fathers. I mean, there's people who are related to some of the Caesars, right? And um, wealthy people who are writing. I mean, Marcion was extremely rich, right? Um, he excommunicated him, but he was very rich. He was he, got, he he was a he was in the shipping business. He was a shipping merchant. Um, I forget who it, I forget who it is. I think it was was it Justin Martyr or was it um, who was uh, he was the cousin of like the emperor or something? It, it slips in my mind, but somebody's going to write it in the comments. Um, and it's because Christianity was open to all races, all social and economic classes. In the eyes of the church in heaven, there was no distinction between male or female, Jew or Gentile, Greek or barbarian, rich or poor, free or slave. All humans had inalienable dignity. Inalienable rights, I wanted to write down, but I wrote down inalienable dignity. But basically, yeah, inalienable rights. And unlike specific cults to Apollo and Mars, Demeter, Mercury, Neptune, I probably should put Ceres instead of Demeter, um, you know, where you would um, donate money or sacrifice to that god or do something to placate that god, to get that god's favor. Um, the Christian god was served by helping your fellow man, especially the weak, the poor, the widow, and the orphans, as well as cultivating compassion and patience um and when i say patience i mean kind of like uh, tolerate tolerance is not a good word more like um stoic meditative like um like the patience of, of, of a buddhist you know not reacting hostily to people um and Christi christianity heavily valued truth literacy and debate and that's obvious from anybody who's read um, uh, even a few works in the New Testament or any of the Church Fathers. Um, uh, getting to the truth, I mean, how many times do you say the truth, stick to what is true, value what is true and good, and discard what is untrue? And, uh, uh, the rhetorical style of debate and you know and not to mention um i mean the muslims call us people of the book for a reason and the style of books that we have i mean even like this book came about because of christianity because instead of the scrolls that the jews had christians were used to flipping between pages and that's how the we got books like this instead of still having scrolls because you needed that i mean if you if you have something like a new testament old testament or even just a new testament if you have those works in there you're going to need you need to do that um but um i also have some numbers here of the growth of christianity um and this is done by um a scholar who's written over 30 books um his name is uh rodney stark um and he agrees with um the consensus among scholars that um about 10 percent of the pop of rome's population by the time um constantine enacted the eve of toleration that 10% of Rome was Christian. And this is even after the Diocletian um, extermination, you know, the, 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 the persecution. And so he, he, he um, does it like, he says it has a gross rate, growth rate about 40% um, per decade, roughly equal. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Stark calculates there would have been 1,000 Christians in the year 40, um, 1,400 in the year 50, 7,000 
530 in the year 100, 40,000, I'm just going to round, 40,000 in the year 150, uh, 217,000 in the year 200, 1.1 million in the year 250, 6.3 million in the year 300, that's around Constantine's time, uh, Diocletian's time actually, um, and 33.8 million in the year 350. Um, and there's all this mathematic stuff here and how they got it. I mean, stuff that's even boring for me. I mean, I, th I'm somebody that, you know, you'd catch guys looking at porn sites or sites of cars, new, brand new cars or motorcycles. And I'm looking at, you know, works of the Romans and, and the Babylonians and the early church and Gnostic writings. So, and I, I, I find this kind of stuff, um, boring. Um, but yeah, the, uh, And this is, and and you can see where um, when people called Gnosticism um, pagan that it had pagan elements because they tried to take away what made Christianity Christianity because remember the secret gospels and you had you were part of this exclusive club right and you had these secret initiations and it was all men. Just like a lot of the cults that surrounded certain gods, just like the Eleusian mysteries, and certainly they wouldn't have any, um, you know, slaves or poor people or barbarians or women um, or Jews in there. Um, but uh, just reading the Church Fathers, there's you could tell there were rich people. I mean, Book of Acts, you have females that are running um, multiple um, churches uh, not say that they were in um, the role of, uh, of a presbyter or um, bishop but they were running several churches like Lydia um, and um, Philip's daughters were both deaconesses and it was a moral thing it was it was it was this radical new thing um and you could look to christ who mainly you interacted in, with him through his teachings right that's how you served god it wasn't through any other sacrifices or anything and his example he was a man of conviction that died for what he believed and could have gotten out of it and we see this we see um ignatius of antioch doing this exact same thing, given multiple chances to get out of it. He even had connections in Rome. Wouldn't, would, wasn't having any of it. All right, um, peace to you. This is an obvious video I should have made, but, you know, uh, requests and everything, and then also wanting to know, wanting to get an answer from uh, Muslims about uh, Surah 5, I believe it is, table spread. Peace to you.